Christmas YouTube. It is Christmas Day, and seeing as I have been released from prison since my last video, I can now bring you another video. So the last time we determined that you can in fact purchase a fun, enjoyable car for under $500. Fortunately, we also proved that you can get yourself arrested in a fun, enjoyable car. So this time, we're not going to screw around with some old muscle car, some fancy luxury car, or some fun car that a bunch of teenagers are probably going to end up stealing because I've left the keys in the ignition and it's sitting on the street. We are going to do something sensible. We are going to buy a family vehicle. And we are going to increase our budget this time to $750 to guarantee that the vehicle we get is not only sensible, Oh, well, it's sensible. I, I don't have any other adjectives. With its rather significant ride height, fairly large tires, and rather SUV-inspired styling, this vehicle isn't so much a minivan as it is a van SUV crossover. And with seats that can be removed quite easily, it's not so much a van as it is a cargo van. And cargo vans are not soccer mom. Cargo vans are manly. Men that work, deliver things, and cut off cyclists, and curse at motorcycles. So I was able to get this rather impressive piece of machinery for only $700. That's $50 under budget. And on top of that, it's inspected for almost two years. Which means I don't have to do any work on this thing, despite the fact that you clearly heard it has a blown exhaust. You can clearly see that the... Uh, the little bits on the side that rock, the rocker panels are fucked. And when I say fucked, I mean my buddy accidentally stepped on this and it ripped off the car completely. Uh, on top of getting a new MVI, we have a fully functioning parking brake as you saw when I pulled up, which means that despite looking like a very dull car, this thing is fucking fun. And I know that's not what we're here today. We didn't need a fun car, we had a fun car and that got us arrested. We are here for a sensible car. And that is why I currently have a couch in here, because I am delivering that today. Owning a van gave me a career opportunity as a delivery driver. And what is more sensible than having a job? It's got uh, a roof rack, uh, that's pretty much it for the external options. I mean, as you can see, it has these really awful hubcaps. And I don't really know what the hell GM was thinking. In this 50s and 60s, a hubcap was a solid chrome cover that blocked the steely so you couldn't see the ugly rim underneath. But for whatever reason, at some point in the 90s, they're like, hey, you know how hubcaps are used to block the ugly steely underneath? Why don't we just make hubcaps so you can still see the ugly steely underneath? So let me list off some of the options. As I mentioned, it has a working parking brake, it has a roof rack, it has AC, it has heat that does not work, it has uh, traction control which does not work, it has stability control which does not work, it has ABS which does not work. Um, it's missing the rear seat according to the previous owner. Uh, he went hunting one day, forgot to bring a tarp 
or ropes to strap it to the roof, so he just put it in the back seat, getting blood and guts in the back seat, so he got rid of the back seat. So it has no back seat, which really doesn't matter, because as I said before, this is not a soccer mom minivan bring eight kids at once to a game. This is a man van working, carrying couches to women in distress. Um, oh, and of course, there's the blown exhaust. Now, as I said, when I bought this car, the exhaust worked. It was not blown. In fact, the entire list of items I just read out that were broken, all of those worked when I bought the vehicle. It wasn't until about a week later when uh, first the traction control broke, then the stable track broke about a day later, and then the ABS broke a couple days after that. Then the heat broke, and I shouldn't say it's broken, that's a lie. It does work. You just have to be going over 80 kilometers an hour for the heat to turn on. Which also means, because the heater core is fucked, if you're going less than 80 kilometers an hour, the van overheats. Uh, but there is, uh, obviously, the matter of the blown exhaust. Not only was the exhaust not blown when I bought the car, the exhaust did not blow as a result of, uh, the, like, you know, the guy wasn't lying to me. The exhaust was fine. I made the mistake of putting a $5 turbo spool whistle from eBay into the tailpipe, and it created so much back pressure, it ended up blowing a hole in the exhaust. My bad. <laughs> oh, and one final option. It is a tow hook. This big bitch can tow 3,500 pounds. That's my Camaro on a trailer.